What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix Twenty One back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks presented by your boy Matrix Twenty One. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Check out my Twitter page at Matrix Twenty One and my Etsy shop at TD Made It. Both the links are down below in the description. But enough of that. Let's go. Let's get to the kicks. So today we'll be taking a look at the Air Jordan One Zoom Comfort Tiana Taylor, a rose from Harlem. It's a, it's a long name, but it's a dope sneaker. So we start off a breakdown. We break down the overall look of the sneaker, and I just give you colors and, and materials used, and I just go over everything about it. So here it is. Here's the sneaker. Here's the new Tiana Taylor Air Jordan collaboration. It looks dope, man. There's so many details packed into this thing. It's so many just cool aspects of the sneaker. I like it a lot. It is a comfort instead of just a regular Jordan High, but it is dope in my opinion. Like I said, there's a lot of details in this. I said premium leathers. You have a cracked leather collar. You have gold eyelets and the aged midsole. That's, that's just naming a few things. It's a, it's a lot going on here. Uh, even with the swooshes, the way they made an oversized swoosh on one side with the uh, kind of like thorns to make it look like a rose, which looks very, very nice in my opinion. I love the aspect of it. And like I said, you can see, tell that the, the leather used is pretty much premium, so I like it a lot. I like the colors used here. You have red, you have white, you have black. You also have like some brown on the back as well. Yellow laces, uh, like I said, aged midsole, a red outsole. Definitely dope looking sneaker overall. Just cool, just cool. <clears throat> uh, I, I like this a lot, like I said. And like I said, I would have liked it a little bit better if it was just a regular upper, I mean uh, high, but it's not. And here's on the toe box, instead of having holes, you have like these X's, and it looks dope, man. It just looks dope, it looks cool, it looks something different. It's not something you'll see on another Air Jordan 1 anyway. It's just something different, and I like that. Like I said, the yellow laces really give it a, a, a nice pop of color that I really do like. Yellow and red typically work together, and it just looks dope. Uh, and like I said, one sneaker has black uh, swooshes like you see right here. The other one has the, uh, the other red ones. Just look at the back of the sneaker, which looks pretty dope. Like I said, you can see those thorns on the back, which look pretty cool. Different different versions of the thorns. One is just a stitch, and one is like an actual uh, imprinted in, in, put into the leather. Here's the front look of the sneaker. Like I said, you have a T on one side and a Jordan, I mean, yeah, a, a Nike swoosh on the other side with thorns on it. Looks dope, looks cool. So let's take a little bit closer look at it, look at some of the details a little bit finer. On behind one side you have a rose, which looks dope. It's like those Jordan, um, the the rookie of the year ones that he had, where he had you can look at the side panels of them. So you have a rose on one side and from Harlem on the other side, and it just looks dope in my opinion. I like those little small details; it adds a lot to it. And like I said, you can see the premiumness of the materials used. It's just dope. And even with the outsole, this is different. I mean, you don't see a red and yellow outsole like this, and it looks different. I don't know; it just looks dope. Uh, has the air sole inside of it because it is a zoom comfort, but cool. And here's just an overall look at the sneakers. Like I said, here's the insoles. One, uh, both red. One has that the Nike swoosh with the thorns on it. The other one has T. So it looks. This just looks dope in my opinion. I like it a lot. <music> So now we move on to release and price information. So not much is known about the release information. Like I said, we don't know the exact date, but it will be this year, 2023, in the upcoming months. Price will be 150 bucks, which is a really good price for a collaboration sneaker. And you better find these on Sneakers app and other select retailers. As I know more, I'll let you guys know more, especially on my Twitter page, and I'll, I'll probably drop something in the description also. But like I said, 150 bucks is dope for this. But like I said, if it was just a regular uh, Jordan 1 High, it'd probably be 190 to 200 bucks. But, you know, it's pretty dope. So now we move on to value. So, is this a pass, a rock, or a stock? You know what this is already. It's a stock. You put, get this nigga, put it up. It's 150 bucks. It's definitely going to go up in value. I don't know if it's going to be a grail overall, but it's going to be a more than 150 bucks easily. Uh, I would say within a year or two, it should jump up at least double the, the, the value of this sneaker. <music> And now we go on to the recap and the final grade. So once again, the release date is unknown, but it will be this year, 2023. 150 bucks is the price tag. You can be able to find these on Sneakers app and other select retailers. So 
like I said, I don't expect these to be a general release, obviously, and I don't expect them to sit around too much. So I think if you want to get them, make sure you find out, well, I'll let you guys know or find out when they will be releasing. 150 bucks isn't bad. I give these an 8 out of 10 as a cop in my opinion. Definitely a cop. I do like these. I think these will only be in women's sizes though, but 8 out of 10, definitely a cop in my opinion. So uh, just get these, add to the collection. Even if you can't wear them, I tell you this is a nice piece for your collection. Uh, the nice display piece because the details on this thing are amazing. But that's all I got for you guys today on this one. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Thank you.